But mm-hmm. then she said, um, this whole um, persona of him, this whole, like when you see these videos on Instagram, and I know many guys are admiring these persons, these people, and him, and uh, they think like this is all coming from cold approach and this social circle, you know? And they want to be like him. They want to say, yeah, I want to build a social circle and I want to have all these girls, you know, in the harem and I want to feel like a king. But then it turns out nothing is like that, what it seems, you know? And um, she started, she, she wrote me actually much thing. I wasn't, I was surprised actually that she wrote me that much. And so we'll start with this. Okay. Um, first of all, she mentions the, this coaching program. I don't know this business mentoring or I don't know how, what it's called and stuff like freedom that. Business, freedom business mentoring. Yep. Yeah. She said, I personally have to say hands off. Not only that there is tons of amount of money it costs, but at the end of the day, there is nothing going on because I was there for a full week with, because of friends and they just making a show. And then she continues about, um, the few girls you see on the pictures and videos, they are just being lured um, into like free parties and money. And all of them, and now here comes the really, really shocking stuff. And they are being told and promised that they can emigrate to Austria or Germany through Max if they behave. She writes, paid money to say things or do things on, this, uh, on these videos. And uh, plus they're getting promised to have a better life um, if they behave accordingly, you know, which is like quite shocking because I think like- If they're good actresses on the, on the videos and photos. I mean, but my opinion is like, is it really necessary for a professional dating coach, a professional pickup artist or call it whatever you want to pay girls to be in his stories and videos? You know, is it, is that really necessary, man? Like, can you don't like, can't you cold approach those girls or get them? Uh, like, I don't know. It's, it's really like, you know, in my eyes, it's nothing better than those cringy guys running around clubs, grabbing some girls and taking out their fucking phones and doing selfies with them. And then the next day they post like, yeah, look what girls I'm getting. But in reality, they don't even get a kiss on their cheeks. But I would strongly recommend not to do this as it's all scam. And at the end, only Max is the one profit, profiting from this. Then she continues, you know, you only know this stuff when you're behind the scene. And I feel sorry for all those guys um, spending those money because you could have spent money for something else. Again, this is something subjective here because there, um, your money only lands in the sand. I don't know if it's in English, it's similar wordplay in the, here. In the trash, it's fucking waste. Yeah. And those girls are, yeah, there is no like sexual encounters or anything, but, but she said they get um, nothing is what it seems behind the scenes, you know? Mm-hmm. Because um, many guys are like, I want to be like that social circle game. And RSD Luke uh, also put out um, social circle blueprint or something like this back in, back in the days, some program. Mm-hmm. And guys getting like, oh, fuck all the approach. I just want to build a social circle and having 10 beautiful women around me and decide, you know, um, which woman to have every night and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, there are all paid. So, so to recap, she said, these girls, the girls that are paid to be in these Instagram pictures and videos are paid, right? They're, so, so, they're, so they're getting a monetary compensation, which... He, which they're, is- they're, they're like free parties hosted uh-huh. and these girls getting paid. But she said um, they are paid. They're paid and um, to pose for the pictures and videos. Okay, so he has paid girls posing for pictures and videos, and they're also being promised to like a better life if they like behave on camera. There are many guys uh, who think that they're those girls like they um, having something with him, you know, like or uh, you know. And she said no. They're so- not hooking up with them. Yeah, and she said no. It's not. No, it's nothing. Maybe with some girls have I don't know. You know, I, I personally I don't I don't care, but it's. Uh, for, for, for what, what I'm carrying is already that he, he has to pay, uh, pay girls to and um, making promises and stuff, you know, to get those girls on camera. It's evidence enough, I think. And these statements, I mean, even after this video, even if you say, even if you um, 
um, like have this bulletproof information and stuff like that, there will be still hardcore fans who will defend. Yeah. The exactly. same with Justin Wayne. He was caught on camera. Everybody knew it. But still, there are fans who still admire him. And Jason Capital as well, you know? Yeah. It's, it's fascinating, right? It's, it, it's cognitive dissonance. Yeah, guy, the narrative goes, like, guys think, like, this person is my idol. This person is, like, a god or, like, a hero. And I've invested a lot of, like, time and effort and, and energy, you know, buying into this guy's stuff. If someone shows me that he's fake, I can't accept that because I'm going to have to accept that I wasted a whole bunch of time, effort, and all this stuff, and that I was misled and, and tricked and all this stuff. So instead, they, like try to make up some rationalization even when it's like caught on camera like with justin wayne he made a defense video where he was like yeah i was just joking around there's no way that was a joke <laughs> it's like it's like 100 percent. like he was he was caught red-handed and guys are willing to like buy into his defense of it yeah, and they are admiring those people they're taking them as role models what he's proclaiming is like oh i got all these girls from being good at game and being like a cold approach master and someone like myself takes super offense to that because I run 15 girl real rotations that were procured from cold approach pickup. I put in the blood, sweat and tears over 15, 20 years to optimize and maximize the system and <laughs> maximize. And you have a, just a clown coming on the scene, paying girls, being good with social media marketing and tricking a ton of people for his own. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we have Pat, and he has a lot of really good inside information uh, regarding Max, RSD Max, uh, Max Tornov. He's going to be sharing with us uh, different, uh, you know, huge issues going on with the harem that he's running in Kiev, which is um, allegedly all paid, and they're not hooking up with him, and a bunch of other really interesting details. So welcome, Pat. Do you want to uh, give some background about how you came into this information and just kind of to set the stage here. Yeah, yo, what's up, guys? I hope you can hear me, see me, everything, all good. Um, my name is Pat. Thanks, John, for the invitation. And uh, I wish it would be under better circumstances here, but when there are so many guys nowadays getting confused, misled, or manipulated, then I think a video like this can be pretty informative and um, bring some light into um, the industry. And I'm usually not the guy giving two fucks about any other coach or what the coaches are doing or anything like that. But as I said, when it comes to like a mass misleading of young guys entering this industry, then I think a video like this is pretty justified. Yeah. And um, especially since social media age, you know, with Instagram and everything, it's pretty, it got pretty easy to fake a lifestyle, to build a whole persona a whole fake persona and it's really difficult for those guys to really distinguish between who are the legit ones and who are some fake gurus you know yep and i mean when not when you're not that long enough in the industry it's pretty hard you know especially um also those uh people those gurus tell um those kids that you can I mean, on the one hand, it's good. They're encouraging those kids to make something out of their lives. But on the other hand, they're getting really, um, giving really bad or, and absolutely wrong information by claiming that everybody can be a coach without um, having the practical knowledge and the technical knowledge. Or the experience. Just, um, yeah, basically just, uh, they tell them not like, just to cold call people, just to DM people out of the blue. You don't even know like some random guys and uh, everybody set them setting up the same profiles with the same weird lines. It's everywhere. You click on every fucking profile. It says, I teach men how to be good with women or I help men how to be good with women. And so many guys popping up like mushrooms out of nowhere. And I feel like uh, there are more coaches out there than players, you know, like, okay, there's a good reference actually, <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the big issue. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, to interject um, yeah, so like really, really quick like like you guys know that uh for those of you that follow my channel like i attack a lot of these guys that there's really no quality control on on someone's teaching or on someone's uh program right like they, they, like like pat said they just put up a huge image and everybody falls victim to just thinking like this guy's the man this guy knows his shit and as i've showed in in tons of videos most of those guys aren't getting girls the girls that they're with are not attractive they don't know what they're doing with game. Their game is poor. And, and there's so much 
uh, fake stuff happening and just, just a lot of marketing and hype built around it. And, and I get to speak to those guys. I've been coaching this for 10 years. I get to speak to those guys on a weekly basis. I've heard thousands and thousands and thousands of stories of guys just getting misled, ripped off, wasting time, effort, and money. So um, we're going to dive in today about... about of and I wanted to say something before. Um, also, those guys, they believe their own shit they have been told. They get into this illusion world. And as I said, like kids still going to school or maybe, I don't know, living in their parents' basement, like jobless and on their parents' wallets, playing Call of Duty the whole day. Want to treat, teach a grown-ass so man, you know, how to be That's the ultimate is. independent alpha. Max is no, 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 I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about Maxi, but, but I know guys personally who are like, really believe their own bullshit, you know? And uh, these are the same guys. The funny story is like those guys, like I had it like two weeks ago, um, guys again, a guy again texted me like, hey, Pat, can you help me with texting? How to text this girl? How to reactivate the conversation to get her and stuff like that? And then I click on his profile and it says like dating coach, you know? <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, what the fuck do you need me for? You know, when you're a dating coach, I mean... Well, and, that, and that, that term has lost all value. I, I get guys messaging me all the time. Hey, man, we're in the same profession. And what is my, what is my response every time? How many <laughs> girls have you been with? And everyone's like, ha, ha, ha. I knew you were going to ask that. Uh, 10. Or, uh, it's usually between like 10 and like 60 or 70. And, and, it, and it's like, I'm like, hey, man, you, you're not qualified yet to teach. You, you don't have with that, amount, you know, with that amount of girls banned. You don't have the experience, the skills, et cetera. We're not in the same profession. Like pe people just slap that label on them. I even had a client that was at like 12 lay count that wrote like a giant, like here's how to get girls uh, manual and was trying to, to mass market it. And I was like, dude, what are you doing? Right. So but yeah, go ahead. And also like um, what I want to say, they spam all those groups and everything, but I, I mean, they're believing their own bullshits just because somebody told them everybody can be a coach and how, I mean, guys may, I mean, guys will ask, after this video or now asking themselves um, how to really separate those guys. How, how should I know if this guy is legit or not? And I can tell you in one sentence, um, if this person is not giving any practical advice, really, you can implement right away or something like practical or I don't know, like, but only talks about some, something like, which is like a breath of air only uh, ripped off by some inner game books. Then you can say mostly this guy's bullshit, you yeah. know? When I ask, when the guys ask, for example, okay, John, tell me how to um, solve this uh, objection. And you come up with a big essay, but no really practical advice. Then, you know, then you can say, okay, this guy's probably not legit. Yeah. Because they, they lack those practical knowledge. Yeah. It's, yeah. They, people need to be able to get practical knowledge, but correct practical knowledge too. And that's the other problem is that there's a bunch of coaches that give very shitty practical advice. And then people don't know like what to, you know, how to, how to call, how to decipher is this good advice or bad advice. So that's what I mean, but there's, like there's no cheap, quality cheap, control. Cheap. And people Whoa. are judging it by like YouTube subs, which most of the big channels haven't even been with hundred girls yet. I know that for a fact. Yeah. So it's YouTube subs. doesn't matter. Mass marketing mm -hmm. doesn't matter, but this is, this is the nature of how people find out about stuff. You know, if, if someone has more reach that they're going to impact a lot more people, unfortunately. So let's, let's jump into the, uh, the, the max details. So do you want to go over kind of like a, like an outline and we can, and just so people are aware of like, what's, what's going to be covered. The thing which is going to be covered is actually um, facts, like pure facts, pure statements, not by me as it would be something like, or John, but from a person who was there, who lived there for a period amount of time. And, um, and when you say, person, there, you mean, you mean with max, like it is. Yeah. Okay. 24 hours, 24 hours um, during a certain period of time and a girl who saw everything and witnessed everything, you know, okay. and um, this is a neutral person, actually a neutral girl who um, visited her girlfriend who lived there, you know, and I think to be honest, you can't find a better um, source for such information, a really reliable source than this. No um, bootcamp student, because in front of a bootcamp student, you can fake also much things. Yeah, do you, and there's do you bias. Of time? People are, feel bad that they spent the money or they might be jaded. So it can be slanted in either direction. But, okay, so this is or a great... Former yeah. staff members or staff members, they can also be like biased when it comes to this. They can also have like sympathy and ah, I don't know if I should tell and something. Okay. But yeah, this, this is a, um, a girl, as I said, who visited her girlfriend, uh, girlf uh, girlfriend in um, Kiev, in Ukraine. 
Mm -hmm. and was there for, I think, I don't know, spent like one full week or more. And uh, yeah, I um, made this girl write down the stuff. She, she told me, I said, okay, can you write this down? Um, so you guys, um, you guys will hear the following statement. And again, I try to be as objective as possible. I'm only, only here to translate it into English as accurate as I can, word for word. And you can make up your own opinion yourself after this, okay? I don't want to influence anybody, as I said, and it's up on you. And I usually don't give uh, any fuck. And I'm not, I don't know, I, I'm not going personally against this guy or anything like that. I'm just getting the information out there and you can decide yourself. So you, okay, so th just to clarify, this, this is a, a girl who was uh, friends with a girl that was part of Max's harem. Yeah. Okay. And she went to visit and got to see a lot of stuff. Okay. So let's jump right into it. Yeah. As I said, um, I made her write this down. Um, and, but she told me personally that before that um, nothing is like what it seems behind the scenes because every guy is always like, um, I mean, I wrote you earlier before um, of what she, what she, she thinks about him, like a, cringy douchebag and his approaches are really weird but then again it was something subjective and I didn't care about this really you know I thought okay there may girls who like this approach there may girls who don't like this approach I don't care I mean he doesn't approach me or anything like that so why, why should I give a fuck you know but then she said um this whole um persona of him this whole like when you see these videos on Instagram and I know many guys are admiring these persons these people and him and uh they think like this is all coming from cold approach and this social circle, you know, and they want to be like him. They want to say, yeah, I want to build a social circle and I want to have all these girls, you know, in the harem and I want to feel like a king. But then it turns out nothing is like that, what it seems, you know. And um, she started, she, she wrote me actually much thing. I wasn't, I was surprised actually that she wrote me that much. And so we'll start with this. Okay. Um, first of all, she mentions the, this, coaching program i don't know this business mentoring or i don't know how what it's called and stuff like freedom that business, freedom business mentoring yep yeah she said i personally have to say hands off not only that there is tons of amount of money it costs but at the end of the day there is nothing going on because i was there for a full week with because of friends and they just making a show and uh, we'll come up later what she means there is nothing going on um then she writes, they using gu young guys who are unsure and manipulate them for this short period of time. But this is neither sustainable or, nor psychology, um, psychologically valuable for those guys who are spending tons of money for online courses, she refers, um, which were recorded once in the past and rip off the guys for every advice. And most of the guys are below 25 and they are kids, she writes, who come to Kiev and want to live like kings there. And of course, in uh, Kiev, um, they get much more money than the usual um, Ukrainian person does. And besides that, the women there are destitute. Like, I don't know if it's the right word. They are very poor. Yeah. Yeah, I, li I lived in Kiev. I don't know if you knew that. I lived there in um, 2017. Okay, no, I never have been there, but yeah. And they just want to uh, get out of this country. And they take those girls as examples to seduce. seduce. But in reality, I talk to these girls who are getting seduced there. And they are nothing more than test objects for some rich guys all over the world. And But in the end... Uh, behind their backs, those girls laugh about them and they just want to get out of this country. So what do we have here um, to get... John, what's, what's your view on this? Like, so, so you're saying like the girls have no interest in these guys. They're just, they're mm -hmm. just interested in making a better life somewhere so they might try to use them for their money. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know personally like who is more aware of that they are faking something. The girls who just try to be somehow... Um, Oh, you're talking about yeah. Max's, Max's girls. It, it will come later, but I wanted okay. just to crack in between. Okay. Those are the girls who are there. Okay. Well, what do you think about this? So they're, just, they're just looking for 
uh, a better life, status, recognition, opportunities, et cetera, but they're not actually interested in the dudes. Yeah. Yeah, that makes and, sense. Um, they are just test objects that she writes. And um, yeah. And then she continues about um, the few girls you see on the pictures and videos. They are just being lured um, into like free parties and money. And all of them, and now here comes the really, really shocking stuff. And they are being told and promised that they can emigrate to Austria or Germany through Max if they behave, she writes. Okay, and, and Max is from Austria? Yeah. And you're, and you're Austrian as well, right? Me, yeah. Okay, I'm half so Austrian living in Austria. So you're in Austria. That, that's how you maybe met the girls because it's, it's a similar home country. Okay, so, um, so he's promising them that they're going to be able to immigrate to Austria or Germany. And that, so it's like a fake promise for a, for a better life. But it's like they yeah. basically like if, if they come on the channel and or if they come on his stories and they come on his Instagram and they pretend like they're part of his lifestyle and all this stuff, then they're. I mean, there are many sources like uh, I saw a guy wrote similar stuff. So you can see it's pretty identical what what this girl has to say and what other sources are telling you. And basically just they're going getting invited to parties and um, paid money to say things or do things on these uh, on these videos and uh, plus they're getting promised to have a better life um, if they behave accordingly you know which is like quite shocking because i think like if they're good actresses on the on the videos and photos i mean i mean she she left it like this she she continued with something else she didn't um how do you say she didn't go into detail um of this but everybody can um think themselves or what they are thinking about this you know everybody can make up themselves an opinion but my opinion is like is it really necessary for a professional dating coach a professional pickup artist or call it whatever you want to pay girls to be in his stories and videos you know is it is that really necessary man like can you don't like can't you cold approach those girls or get them uh, like i don't know it's it's really like you know, in my eyes, it's nothing better than those cringy guys running around clubs, grabbing some girls and taking out their fucking phones and doing selfies with them. And then the next day they post like, yeah, look what girls I'm getting. But in reality, they don't even get a kiss on their cheeks. But at least those guys have the boss to approach these girls, you know? Yep. So that, that's, that's my personal opinion on this. And yeah, it's nothing. It's it's not better than old grandpas going to I don't know, flying to Thailand or something to get young girls. But at least they 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 know themselves, or I hope most of them know themselves. And I don't judge anybody. Again, everybody can do what they want to do, but they at least know that those girls are here for the money, you know, not because they're looking so incredible good. Okay. And that's pretty sad. Yeah. Yeah, it's it makes sense. I mean, it's. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I've, I've heard so much fucked up shit about Max and RST and these guys and it, this, how, how deep the scamming goes is that it's not shocking. It's, it's, I actually come to expect these things at this point, but okay. He's, he's not the only one doing this, I guess. And there are many, many who are using models or actresses, you know, to build up this lifestyle and look Jason guys. Capital. How good. Jason, Jason Capital, the dating coach was, was found to be posting an ad on Craigslist, a free classified yeah. ad. Manhor uh, had one of his friends found that and he made an article about it. Um, and he was basically just saying like models needed for lifestyle shoot. And he was offering like $400 to each girl. <laughs> so they just come wear little outfits, pose around him and guys are like, oh, I want to be like that. And then they pay him a, a shit ton of money. You know, it was just a minor expense to, to create that fake image. And that's how Max does the same really thing. That this community is getting dragged um, into shit really and, and everybody's making fun of you know like even people in the in who are there i mean who are into the industry they are into this community they leave a couple of years because they realize the the lies there you know and they just want to get off this um, community but mm -hmm. many guys especially young guys or people who are new they don't realize you know they don't know who them who who, who i should trust and stuff like that and then they get tricked into this mm -hmm. quite easily. Yep. And she continues um, 
How, as I said, um, everybody should make their own opinion on this, but I would strongly recommend not to do this as it's all scam. And at the end, only Max is the one profit, profiting from this. And uh, it's seriously questionable. And um, then she continued, um, because I said, like, I'm pretty shocked and stuff. Um, thanks for this honest uh, statement you made. Um, then she continues, you know, you only know this stuff when you're behind the scene. And I feel sorry for all those guys um, spending those money because you could have spent money for something else. Again, this is something subjective here because their, um, their, your money only lands in the sand. I don't know if it's in English, it's similar wordplay in the, here. In the trash, it's fucking waste. Yeah. yeah. And then she mentions that um, his, the, the stuff, the guys working for him, those coaches, they're like maximum 20 years old. Like the, the average age is like maximum 20. Okay. And, and they, they're, they're, and these are coaches for game and business. I don't know. Personally, now they switched, I think to business or some, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah it's, it's all about business mentoring instead of pickup mentoring, but it, you know, Derek, RFC, Derek, Derek. I mean, Mayberg. I don't want to say nothing about business mentoring. I'm not, I'm not involved there. I don't, you know, I'm personally, I don't know sources or anybody. Yeah. No, but, but Derek, uh, Derek Moneyberg, formerly RST Derek, he hires 19 and 20 year olds to write all his content. I've exposed that in a bunch of videos. And then he has uh, also young guys as the coaches on his like big, you know, 30, 40 person boot camps. It's a whole other story. You shouldn't be running programs that big. It's unmanageable. But it came out that those coaches are just sales guys that are, that are not getting laid. Like one of them had like one lay the, the week, the year, the whole year before. And all their, their job is just to upsell guys on more courses. And it sounds like Max's coaches are young and inexperienced as well, whether it be for pickup or business. It's a 20 year old. He doesn't I mean they're play. easily to manipulate and to use. Easy you know? to manipulate and they work for free. And these guys are cheap and they get free labor. And even if they get some money, I mean, a 20 year old guy being away from his parents and in a country where, like in a, in a poor country and he makes money, you know, he, and uh, as she wrote, uh, as she wrote, uh, they want to live like kings there, you know, and he feels like a king, obviously. Yep. So, okay. That's what if, for those young. Guys. What else did she say re regarding the girl, the, the girls that are part of the harem? You said you told me before that, that, that they're not having sex with the girl. He's not having sex with the girls. Yeah, he he has a he has a girlfriend now. Um, yeah, but everybody knows I think already. Um, and those girls are, yeah, there is no like sexual encounters or anything. But, but she said they get um, nothing is what it seems behind the scenes, you know, mm -hmm. because um, many guys are like, I want to be like that social circle game. And RSD Luke uh, also put out um, social circle blueprint or something like this back in, back in the days, some program. Mm -hmm. And guys getting like, oh, fuck all the approach. I just want to build a social circle and having 10 beautiful women around me and decide you know um which woman to have every night and stuff like that but at the end of the day they are all paid and uh yeah okay is it did she share anything else was there any other any other information to cover no that was that was the whole information basically uh yeah but i think it was pretty informative and um Again, guys, the, the viewers out there, the guys watching this video, you can build up your own opinion on this. What do you think? I try to stay objective as I can. And yeah, well, what's so, your so, view on this? So, so to re just to make sure I'm understanding everything. So, so to recap, she said, these girls, the girls that are paid to be in these Instagram pictures and videos are paid, right? They're, so, so they're so they're getting a monetary compensation, which he, which they're, is, they're, they're like free parties hosted, uh -huh. and these girls getting paid. But she said um, they are paid. They are paid and um, to pose for the pictures and videos. Okay, so he has paid girls posing for pictures and videos, and they're also being promised like a better life if they like behave on camera, right? So they're and Justin Wayne. We, we can maybe roll a clip from uh, Justin Wayne when I, when I publish this. He was caught by Vice. I don't know if you saw that, but but he was caught like... Uh, I, I remember reading something. Yeah, he, yeah. He had the mic still on and they, they got him yeah. on camera. Which it's like... Nailing and the he fought nailing. with this girl. He, he fought with this girl and he said, if you don't shut up and uh, say what I, I 
told you to say, um, I don't know, he threatened this girl. I, I remember, yeah. Yeah, and he, well, he, well, he, he basically said, like, I'm not going to pay you unless you, like, behave. He basically did the same thing. So, like, here you have... I mean, I'm personally, I'm long, enough, I'm long enough in this industry to know that there are so many fakes out there that 95% of those coaches you can forget, really. Yeah, and I say that all the time. Like, Even more than 95%. But... Uh, so that's interesting. So you had, so Justin Wayne was caught with, you know, nail in the coffin. It was on recording telling yeah, the girl, like, if you don't stay in line, like I'm not going to pay you. And, and he said, like, my guns are, are bigger than yours. I don't know. They're basically like threatening her as well. And then you have uh, Jason Capital hiring models, $400 each to be part of the lifestyle shoot. I mean, now, come on, like Jason Capital, it was obviously, you know, you, you could see his infields and you know, it was fake from the start yeah, somehow. But this, you know, but when you guys have to be, yeah. yeah, but like with Vice catching Just Wayne on camera and then uh, Manhor catching Jason Capital directly posting the ad looking for the models. That's like knocked on evidence. Now we have, surprise, surprise, Max following in suit, paying girls and promising them a better life to be part of his uh, pictures and videos, right? And in reality, I don't know why, why everybody's jumping on this, especially when they're getting mainstream kind of, you know? When they're getting mainstream, they somehow lose their mind. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously sex sells, you know, like... Make a video and you know it yourself. I mean, do a video with your girlfriend, put it up there, and everybody will watch the video better than you alone, or maybe us together here now, you know. <laughs> but that's that that's the thing. I mean, sex sells, but if you're a dating coach and self-claimed uh, pickup artist, then you don't need to pay girls and hire girls to stand there, you know, like like sheeps to market stuff better. So yeah. That's my two cents on this. And, what, was, um, what was the part you told me that they're not having sex with him? Is it is that where did that come from? She 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 just told me this one. So she. I mean, because I said like um, there are many guys uh, who think that there are those girls like they um, having something with him, you know, like or uh, you know. And she said no. They're so not hooking up with him. Yeah, and she said no. It's not not it's nothing. Maybe with some girls, have, I don't know. You know, I, I personally, I don't, I don't care. But it's uh, for, for, for one, what I'm caring is already that he, um, he has to pay, uh, pay girls to and um, making promises and stuff, you know, to get those girls on camera. It's evidence enough, I think. And these statements, I mean, even after this video, even if you say, even if you um, um, like have this bulletproof information and, stuff like that there will be still hardcore fans who will defend yeah the exactly. same with justin wayne he was caught on camera everybody knew it but still there are fans who still admire him and jason capital as well you know yeah it's it's fascinating right it's it's cognitive dissonance at its finest i always say that on my channel like when i attack these guys because they're so manipulated yeah the narrative the narrative goes like i think this guy is like a god wait i, I can I, see you now this this guy is like a god this guy is like my hero um to doubt him is to you have you have you had you had been away for short there was like oh a leg yeah 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 but so, so like yeah guy the narrative goes like guys think like this person is my idol this person is like a god or like a hero and i've invested a lot of like time and effort and, and energy you know buying into this guy's stuff if someone shows me that he's fake i can't accept that cuz i'm going to have to accept that i wasted a whole bunch of time effort and all this stuff and that i was misled and and tricked and all this stuff so instead they like try to make up some rationalization even when it's like caught on camera like with justin wayne he made a defense video where he was like yeah i was just joking around there's no way that was a joke <laughs> it's like it's like 100 percent. like he was he was caught red-handed and guys are willing to like buy into his defense of it yeah and they are admiring those people they're taking them as role models and yeah I mean, do you have any other um any other final thoughts you wanted to you wanted to add in regarding that situation? I mean, I think I said everything. Like what I have to say is like to the guys, really like um, as I said, like open your eyes and try to keep this, try to view this from a neutral standpoint. You know, I mean, I know for a fact. Like try to really like um, don't let yourself manipulate. Also, like make yourself your own opinion. You know, just watch a video and decide for yourself. Is it something? Um, yeah, decide decide for your decide on yourself for yourself. If it's if, what what do you think about this? Again, here you can make up your own opinion. Let us know in the comments down there. And um, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, I appreciate you coming on and, and sharing that. 
Um, very, very sad. He's, he's toting this as like, the, the, the real thing we didn't address is he, he, what he's proclaiming is like, oh, I got all these girls from being good at game and being like a cold approach master. And someone like myself takes super offense to that because I run 15 girl real rotations that were procured from cold approach pickup. I put in the blood, sweat and tears over 15, 20 years to optimize and maximize the system and <laughs> maximize. And you have a, just a clown coming on the scene paying girls, being good with social media marketing and tricking a ton of people for his own. I mean, for me personally, I, it didn't hurt. I mean, I was never a, a fan or I didn't get into game because of RSD. I learned game from mystery and some different online uh, pickup forums back in the days. Mm -hmm. So, but, but yeah, many, many guys are admiring those people and really look up on them as gods. And now they're getting like, they're like their world getting trashed or something. And, as I said, it's sad when it's um, like this and there are many guys to follow and coming up with the same shit who are not um, now on this level, at this level, or who are not famous yet. But yeah. Yeah, I appreciate you, man, coming on and, uh, and sharing all this. Um, I'm going to also do an another video where I break down his freedom business mentoring critique that there's basically I'm as i said i wish the circumstances would be different i would uh, love to talk about the game with you or <laughs> something else I, I used to watch your videos i like your videos i like your honest view on this i know the american guys as well like biased and they told me like ah oh, john he's a massive like uh, fraud or this and that but then i again what i what i told you guys as well make your own conclusion make your own opinion i'm also always try to go in from a neutral standpoint and I'm grown enough to make my own view on this. I, I show the most proof out of anyone. I don't, no one has the right to call me a fraud. There's, there's literally nothing that I've never lied about. And practical right. stuff as well, what I love. And also I have a YouTube channel as well, where I put on only practical things. You can check it out. I don't know if I can make a yeah, sure. advertising yeah. from my channel. It's called Veil Intentions. I have a Facebook group as well. You can join and yeah. Yeah, we'll put a little thing up on the up on the screen uh, with your with your YouTube thing, and we'll we'll put the link in the description to, to Pat's YouTube as well. Um, yeah. but thanks a lot, man, for for coming on. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any more questions uh, for Pat or for me, you can leave them in the comments. And uh, please subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys next video. Oh, and if you have interest in the eight week mentorship, jump on a free thirty minute call with me in the link in the description as well. But thanks again, Pat. And uh, no problem, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum